Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. This disgusting piece of crap y'all see on your screen is 33-year-old Matthew Hike, a lead teacher at Livingstone Academy Sefna School for Kids with Disabilities and an assistant football coach at Bloomingdale Senior High School. He is being accused of touching a boy inappropriately and showing him pornographic pictures, guys. And get this, the child wasn't one of his students. He targeted the little boy guys in the hallway, gaining his trust and befriending him. Just horrible. The ABC Action News wrote, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said a teacher at a local school for children with disabilities is facing charges for inappropriately touching a student. Matthew Hikes, 33, was a teacher at Livingstone Academy and an assistant football coach at Bloomingdale High School. According to the school's website, Hike was a lead teacher at Livingstone Academy Sefner. The website said Livingstone is an independent nonprofit profit private school program that specializes in serving the unique needs of children with learning disabilities. The school reached out to the sheriff's office after the grandmother of the victim reported that a teacher inappropriately touched her grandchild. The sheriff's office said detectives said Hikes was identified through investigative means and was found to have shared several images of a pornographic nature with the juvenile. Hike is charged with five counts of lewd and lascivious molestation, three counts of selling or disputing, distributing obscene materials to a minor. Wow, he was actually recording and selling the images. Damn, wow. Those adults in position of trust who prey on our children and victimize them have no place in our community, says Sheriff Chad. This, uh, this suspect did not have the student in his class, but instead targeted the juvenile in the hallways, gaining the victim's trust and befriending him before committing this heinous crime. He's just sick. Any... Uh, any additional victims who may have experienced abuse by hikes are asked to call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office at 813-247-8200. And I hate to say this, guys, but I'm sure there are more children. This young boy wasn't his first victim. This is very sad, disgusting piece of, oh my gosh. These are criminals. Uh, they should be behind bars and not in our schools, not in our playgrounds, not in our homes, uh, not in our communities. Matthew Hike is facing charges for inappropriately touching a student and then showing that student porn. The 33-year-old is a teacher at Livingstone Academy in Sefner. The private Christian school says it serves the unique needs of children with learning disabilities. The fact that this happened at a school for students with disabilities who oftentimes, many, many times, cannot speak up for themselves, right? So it takes someone like a grandmother who's paying attention to be able to take notice that something's not right in her grandchild's life. The child told their grandmother what happened, who then reported it. Educators who work near the school recall times they've had to report abuse. It's hard to process another teacher being the one to hurt a child. It's heartbreaking to know that somebody would actually, why? why? My, my, I think the bottom line would be why? Why would somebody do that? to a young child. Why? Counselors say it's difficult to help any child understand something like this, but it will take more time to help a child with disabilities. That's going to take a lot of time and a lot of patience. And, you know, quite frankly, when something like this happens to any child, but particularly for a child with disabilities, it is it's heart wrenching. A reason why the sheriff's office says it will do all it can to keep predators away from our children. We're going to go after these guys uh, with everything that we've got to make sure that our children stay as innocent and wonderful as they are. 
Now, we've learned that Hikes was also an assistant football coach at Bloomingdale High School. The district says that he was not an employee, but a paid volunteer. He is no longer in that role, and he will not be able to volunteer at all with the district. Now, the hope in all of this is that there are no additional victims, but the sheriff's office says that that's not always the case. So they're asking if anyone else was abused to please reach out to them and come forward. Sadly, there could be more to come. All right, Janae Lewis, thank you so much, Janae. To one parent here, and she told me she is very concerned. We used to see him like in the morning standing next to the principal outside, and I would have never thought anything like this would happen, especially at a school with kids with learning disabilities. It's really sad. Emily Farmer tells Aid on Your Side the charges against teacher Matthew Hike have her worried for Livingstone Academy, including her stepdaughter. I just hope to God that it's not, you know, my stepdaughter and and I pray that it's nobody else at the school, but it's really sad to see this go on. 33-year-old Hike is facing five counts of lewd and lascivious molestation and three counts of showing obscene material to a minor. According to the arrest report, he showed a middle school-aged boy pornographic videos and then touched him inappropriately. Grandmother reached out to Livingstone Academy and said that her grandchild had reported inappropriate, inappropriate touching by one of the teachers there, so they reached out to HCSO. Hike was also a volunteer assistant football coach at Bloomingdale High School. A school district spokeswoman tells me he won't be coaching while this investigation is underway. On the Sheriff's Office Facebook page, there are literally hundreds of comments. One person writes, OMG, I went to high school with him. He was a respectable person, but to know this and see this, I just threw up. Another comments, this is awful, such an amazing school. I worked there and everyone loved the kids. This clearly breaks my heart. And I did reach out to the founder of the school. He told me that the safety and well-being of the students here is first and foremost. And he told me the school is fully cooperating with this investigation. He is sick and preyed on those kids, I believe, because it's a small private school and he felt he could slip through the cracks. And I believe if they dig deep enough, I bet they will find that this piece of shit has done this before. I will definitely keep you guys updated on this case as any and more information on this monster comes out. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And hit that notification bell so you'll see when I drop new videos. And guys, follow me on all my platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All that Sister Girl Talk TV.